we just talked about a total of 132 and a half. Well, how about a total that is now sitting at 173 and a half? The highest since at least 1995 in the NCAA tournament between College of Charleston and Alabama. Alabama, nine and a half point favorite here. This game will tip at, at 7.35 Eastern on True TV in Spokane. Uh, this is the three-point variance game. It's three-point variance bowl. Both these teams want to play super fast, chuck a ton of threes. Like, if Alabama's off from three, then, like, they could lose this game. There's, there's two defenses with major holes. And if you look at, like, Kill shots, runs. These two teams are right up there. So this is a, I bet, Charleston plus 10 and a half. I'm probably going to buy some back and just trade this game live. Because there is a there is a world where, there's a lot of worlds, where if Charleston is off from three, and I will say, they've been running hot. So the thing that scares me about my bet is... You know, they've been running hot from three, and Alabama has been super unlucky since February 1st. Alabama, 32.8% from three since February 1st. They were 38.8 prior to that date. Charleston is 39.2% since February 1st. They were 32.2. So there's, in a game where we have a ton of three-pointers, I worry a bit about regression. But here's the thing. When Charleston goes cold for stretches... Alabama is going to cook them in transition and cook them at the rim. So Alabama gets to the rim a ton too, and there's no rim protection for Charleston. But there's undoubtedly major issues defensively for Alabama. Across the board, Nate Oates, there's nothing he can do that the pieces aren't there with this roster. There's too many guys. They have no rim protection. There's too many guys who just don't have defensive DNA. They just don't get it. Charleston can score, but it's a lot of it's going to come out of three-point variance. So... You want an upset pick, you could pick Charleston to win because they're on and now Alabama's off. Guess what? Charleston's probably going to win this game. So Alabama goes 6 of 30 from 3. And if Charleston's off and Alabama's on, and Alabama, yes, they're going to win by 35 points in this game. Uh, so I I like Charleston. I'm probably going to buy off and then just buy off some of my position and then just bet this game live. Like There's going to be a ton of runs in this game back and forth. No lead will be safe. Yeah, I, I think where your head's at is correct. I, I will also say from a live betting perspective, if Alabama gets down early and this gets closer to them, minus three, minus four, I'm interested in hopping in because beyond the three-point barrage that we're going to see from them, I'm also wondering, having watched Charleston play on the defensive end, who's checking Mark Sears? Because yes, they live and die with a okay. three-point shot, but he's going to get into you know the, the heart of their defense and facilitate and finish at the rim. And I would just really love to get a good number. If we can get like a, a 10 to start from Charleston, that's a dream scenario for me. I don't have a pre pre-match bet on this one. I'm going to wait. Um, but in terms of like the ability to get back into it, both of them have it. I'm just more interested from a betting perspective in grabbing Bam at a good number. Yeah. And for what it's worth, Alabama blew out all the inferior competition it faced. And Charleston's results against the only three tournament teams that face are not pretty. They lost by nine to Vermont on the neutral. They lost by 18 to Duquesne on the neutral. They lost by 16 to FAU. FAU and Duquesne both got the 90. Charleston defense is not good. Uh, do you have any thoughts here, Greg? Yeah, I do. I uh, I think you guys hit all the major points. It's going to be a very fun game to watch, and I'm about to introduce you guys into the most fun way to bet a game in the first weekend in just a moment. But I will add quickly – if you believe Charleston can keep this game close, I think the value is to take the money line at plus 370 more than it is nine and a half. Um, because if Alabama is going to win this game, there it could be by 20 to 35 points, like you guys said. Uh, if you inherently believe Charleston's going to cover nine and a half, that means you believe they have a chance to win the game. Um, I, I would play it pregame if you do believe that, and then maybe look for Alabama live, as Cal Bree said. But the important thing to me, guys, there's going to be so many threes shot in this game. I can't wait. And we could bet them. We could bet them individually for a lot of guys. And let me introduce you to the most fun way to bet the first weekend. I'm taking six different player props in this game to hit the over at a plus number on three-pointers <laughs> made in this game. 
A couple that I like. Rain Smith over three and a half plus 114. Mark Sears over two and a half threes plus 114. There's four other guys between hitting one and hitting three threes at what we need at a plus number. Hope you hit three of six. You cash out in the green. Hope you hit six of six because this game might be insane. Rain Smith, by the way, in his last five games has shot 15 three-pointers in a game twice. That's absurd. Like He might shoot 23 three-point attempts in this game against Alabama. And if they're going in, I, I mean, what an entertaining watch. Just for my heartstrings, I'm going to be playing a, a small number on each of those. I think it'll be a really entertaining one.